setup here. I mean, a lot of his runs, a lot of his goals come from counterattacking opportunities. That's just the way Real Madrid plays. But these runs don't always have to be in a counterattacking sense. Okay, let's look at how you make runs when there are all the defenders back. Okay, so let's say our playmaker is on the ball. If you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement, I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide, and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. Attacking midfielder here. Here's Ronaldo out here, okay? So most players, they're playing winger. What do they do? They're making this run all day. They want to get this one in here, okay? That's fine. When you're looking at making runs, you have to think about receiving, you want the attacking player or the playmaker on the ball to play this pass when you are at that offside line, okay? If they play it here, yes, if you have pace, you're gonna get there, but you're gonna be in a much more dangerous position if when they play it here, you're already here. Because everyone, these defenders are facing the ball. They're looking at this ball. They're coming this way, you're going this way, okay? So if you are here at full speed when this is played, and I guess in this position you could be up here if the center half is there, but let's just look at this fullback here. If you're here going at full speed, this guy's slightly coming forward, and it's played in here, he has to turn, you're already here, and you're in attacking very quickly, very dangerously, okay? So think about that. Reaching the offside line at full speed when this ball is played. So you have to time your run, you have to make eye contact, good eye contact with the playmaker on the ball, and you have to call for it if you want it, okay? If you want passes, open your mouth, otherwise you're not going to get the ball as much as you deserve, okay? So here's a great run to make on the outside. When we're receiving these balls, we wanna think about going inside. So can your first touch be boom, inside, towards net, so you can attack and be dangerous, okay? If that run isn't always working for you, I want you to switch it up, okay? So you wanna to try to come in here and this ball into here, okay? So as a winger, don't just make this run. Can you come in here between the center backs Okay, and this is key to Ronaldo's success. He's not always making the same run. He's being unpredictable. He's varying his runs. He might even come all the way over here if the ball's on this side of the field. Okay, let's say the fullback has it. He might make this run into here, clipped over the top, and you're trying to get on there. Hopefully, other attackers are getting into the box and you can whip one across for an easy pass on goal, okay? But what I wanna get at here is a variation of your runs, okay? Whenever there is someone on the ball, you can make a forward run, or you can make a, a run for a through ball, okay? Because through balls are so deadly. That's how you're gonna get lots of goals, especially if you're lucky to be blessed with some speed and pace, okay? Use that to your advantage, okay? So if it's on this side of the field, you might wanna think about coming across and getting this. If you feel that everyone, other players are already making that run, Let's say this is Ronaldo now out here. Let's say Benzema, Bale over here. Let's say they're making this run to get this ball, okay, and everyone's sucked over here. This is where you might want to sit out here, okay? They're anticipating a pass into this space. You stay wide out here, boom, clipped over the top, lots of space to attack, get in on goal, okay? So you have to be aware. If everyone's getting sucked over, this might be a good time to sit out wide. If everyone is being stagnant and you want to make that run okay boom you get into that space vary your runs down the line through the center backs between the center backs and the full backs okay think about that and again biggest thing attacking with speed at that offside point so have your eye on the line make sure you're not offside but make sure you're not just waiting on the line for that pass try to sprint into it and use your momentum to get in a good attacking position if you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the Online Soccer Academy. Okay, so while we're on the point of attacking, Ronaldo scores a ton of back post goals, okay? A lot of his goals, the ball's coming across and he's just tapping it in the net. I've talked about this before in some videos, but I want to address it because I want you to score these goals. How nice would it be to get some tap-in goals? 10 tapping goals a year, okay? The reality is, 
He doesn't get them because he, he's lucky. He gets them because he works for them, because he wants them, because he's willing to work harder than a defender to get there. Okay, so anytime, let's say again, our playmaker's on the ball and Benzema has made a run into space here, gets clipped on the top, he's in an attacking position. Ronaldo's not saying, oh, he's going to get the shot, so I'll just let him go. He's getting in the box and he's screaming for it. He's screaming for it. He wants it so bad, okay, just for that tap in. But what this comes down to is desire to get in the box, desire. Every time there's an attacking opportunity, are you working hard to get in the box, okay? There's a cross coming in, you got to be there at that back post. And back post is a great place for any striker, any winger to be, okay? Hopefully there's someone coming in from the front post to take one of the defenders away, and you're coming in at that back post for a tap in or a strong header back on goal. Okay, the other thing I want to talk about, and this is very important for a lot of strikers, wingers to hear, is his hold up play because it's become a lot better. If you remember watching Ronaldo when he first came to Man United, he would get the ball in certain positions and he would be very careless. He would lose the ball. What I want to talk about here is his hold up play. Okay, so a lot of times the ball will be played out of defense, let's say from the defensive midfielder or defender, into space here, okay? Yes, you want to try to turn and attack, but that's not always an option, especially when you're getting closed down, okay? So the most important thing when you receive that ball, we're trying to get up, we're trying to get out of our defense into attack. The most important thing is that you take care of that ball, okay? So take a good first touch, play it into space. Then don't stand, spin, okay? You want to get in that attacking position again as soon as possible. But if the ball is played in here and I try to turn and we lose it, Everyone is going forward to join the attack, and now they're coming forward. Okay, it's very bad, very bad to lose in here. You have to hold it up. So take one touch, play it back into space. Let's say it comes out from here. If there's someone on you, you don't have any time to turn. Okay, know that this is the time to play it simple. Play it back into a midfielder, spin, try to get it back, okay? So think about that. If someone's on my back, I'm not gonna complicate things. I'm not gonna lose the ball here. I'm gonna play it into someone joining the attack and then I'm gonna spin, try to get it back so I can get my goals, okay? Think about that. Know when to play it simple, know when to attack. If you receive it in here and no one is around you, boom, yes, of course, turn, run at speed, okay? But you have to be aware. So look over your shoulder. Is someone on me? Okay, I'm gonna play simple, spin, get into space. All right, so the other thing I'm just gonna leave you with is obviously we know Ronaldo is an incredible shooter of the ball, but do you think he was just born naturally with those great shooting skills? Not a chance, okay? It comes down to repetition. I've heard lots of professional players and like documentaries and such talk about Ronaldo and how he would just spend hours after practice shooting the ball, practicing free kicks, practicing shooting from different variations with both feet, and just how he wanted to become the best player in the world. So he put in the work. He didn't think that he was good enough. He was just so naturally blessed that he didn't have to work. He earned it. He improved different areas of his game. He got bigger, he got stronger, he got faster. He got better at shooting, better at heading. Okay, he learned when to play simple and when to be creative and use his moves. So think about that. If you want to get better at shooting, you have to put in the work. It's all about repetitions. How many shots do you think Ronaldo's taken in his life? If you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the online Soccer Academy.